Hey, what is up, adventurers? King Valiant here, and I wanted to bring you guys a quick video talking about the new starter packs that got released with the full release of Lost Ark on February 11th. So instead of the Founders Pack, they have now created three chests that you can buy. Those packs are the Apprentice Pack, Explorer's Pack, and Vanquisher Pack for $15, $35, and $65 roughly to be able to get some extra goodies when you start the game. I saved you guys some money and some time and went full Giga Chad mode and basically bought all of them. That way I could hopefully save you guys some money and that way you have that information without having to do it yourself. Drop a comment. Let me know if you did buy all of them. Let me know your reasoning why or just let me know the reason why you're gonna avoid buying them, period. Again, no, nothing in here is something you have to get. Most of the time, it's vanity stuff. So I'd appreciate you guys doing that, but let's get into the video. All right, so let's open up the very first one. Let's go ahead and claim all three of these. We got the Apprentice, Explorer, and Vanquisher pack. Claim item. Additional service functions below can be used in the character selection screen. So we got a reskin ticket and a character slot extension ticket. We'll go ahead and come back to that and see if those are going to be worth it and see how much those cost. So first things up first, we have the Apprentice Pack giving us a Crystalline R 30 days and a basic upgrade supplies chest. Crystalline R is always good to have. Looks like we're gonna get a bunch of potions. This is gonna be really awesome just because those potions are gonna be able to be used at end level, the HP potions, because they do a flat 30% of your health. So that's really nice. Has some more battle supplies, battle equipment, healing, offensive stuff. All right, so pretty straightforward, basically just for more healing supplies. It's not a bad pack. This stuff will all just stack on whatever you already have. All right, let's go ahead and look at the second middle one. So it looks like we get two mounts out of this. Let's see if they stack for us though, and they might be tradable. All right. So guys, this is huge. We can trade the Dio Rika Warhorse mount. It says it right here where it says tradable. This means we're gonna be able to probably put this on the auction house. I'm not 100%, but we're gonna try. But if it's anything like the Lawmaker skin stuff in the Founders Pack, we'll be able to do this. So we got another thing of basic supply chests, apprentice tools, same thing as before, just like the previous one, more Crystalline Aura, and we get a pet. And these pets are gonna be tradable as well. This is gonna be really, really big. Loving to see this right now. So it looks like we've got a uh, more white version, like a white and black, kind of like an all black, and then kind of like a orangish one. Not sure which one we go with. Let's go with the brave one. That sounds fun. All right, now let's open up this last one. All right, so it looks like we're gonna get a five things legendary rapport selection chest, an additional amount that we can actually trade. It looks like we're gonna get another thing of supplies, the extra pet, which I do believe is gonna be tradable. And we're gonna get the Aller skin chest, which here's the thing about that. The Aller skin chest, you can actually go to the store right now and purchase on the store for 840 crystals or the Royal crystals. Now, before you do this, if you do buy it from the shop, by the way, guys, do yourself a favor, do the math. I did on my server for the currency exchange. I, I don't know if this is global. It might be or region-based or server-based, but either way, do the math. What I did it end up the crystal route is better because if you go the Royal crystal route, you end up spending like 300 to 500 more crystals based off the currency exchange so this is not something that's going to be specific to that it's currently on the store so you could always decide back later to get this and if you did get the founders pack or anything along those lines you did get some extra crystals and it's not a lot to buy it 840 is pretty decent so i don't think it'd be worth buying the big bang package for that for the starter we get the mount let's see let's see if the mount all right so that doesn't open automatically that's good so i can trade this to an alt which is going to be awesome i want to see if we can actually put this mount on the auction house let's do some let's do some research and search right now all right so you can in fact sell the mount the dio rica war horse this is pretty big it's the same thing with the lawmaker set this ends up being a really useful tool if you're gonna if you sit here and basically sit on the mount give it some time and over time when more new players come into this game you'll be able to let that price and that investment grow basically and you can sell it for higher gold so there you guys have it there's all the packs being opened up right there from what i can see it seems like the explorer starter pack is the pack that i would recommend buying if you just want to get the vanity items such as the pet and the mount you're not looking to sell anything for extra gold not to mention we don't know if these starter packs are going to stay here forever if they stay here forever no one's probably going to buy the mount from the market but maybe they do they just specifically want that if you really like the alar skin set then maybe you can buy the vanquisher pack and be able to justify that but it's an extra 30 dollars and personally i think you'd be better off getting the explorer and just buying the alar skin set from the current store for 800 crystals that would be my personal recommendation but you do you However, that's everything I got for you guys today. And until the next video, I hope you guys like this. As always, do me a favor, drop a like, hit the subscribe. And I'm also live on Twitch. You can check that link down in the description below. But until next time, stay shiny.